Hey, welcome back to the channel. Another video today. We're talking about meal delivery services, teaming up with Instacart, grocery delivery services, trying to save you some money, save some trips outdoors during these times. A couple weeks ago, I got a HelloFresh kit sent to me. I had the account set up a couple months ago, didn't cancel the account. I was just skipping week by week. Forgot to skip the week. So to my surprise, a box showed up Tuesday morning at my apartment. I had already paid for it. They wouldn't let me return it, so why not? I got these groceries. Conveniently, it did save me a trip to the grocery store, especially now where a lot of people are trying to stay inside as much as possible, avoiding any exposures to the outside world. But I'd got the kit. So it was a plan for two people, three meals for a week. Um, I think I had gotten a burger option, like a Tuscany chicken pasta and a fig pork tenderloin dish. They're all pretty easy to make. I'd say my skills as a chef, about medium, um, a little more than beginner, but definitely not expert, can't make anything crazy. But once again, they're quick and easy meals, and as you may know about HelloFresh and these services, they pre-package everything for you, so you have it in exactly the right portions. They'll give you literally one onion, one pack of sour cream, one bag of shredded cheese, whatever you need, you'll have exactly as much as you need. So after the week was done, I had to go back to normal grocery shopping, buying whatever it is that I buy. But this got me thinking, you know, especially now where we're trying to stay out less, getting things delivered to us would be a lot more convenient, would be a lot easier for us. Think about doing something like a meal delivery service, HelloFresh Blue Apron, where, where you pick your meals, you know exactly what you're getting, you're getting the right portions, you're getting very simple to follow instructions. The convenience of that with the flexibility and cost savings of going by yourself to a grocery store and grocery shopping like normal. So now there's been a lot of news articles with Instacart and delivery services from apps or grocery stores themselves just completely blowing up. Their sales and orders are through the roof because a lot of people are now staying indoors. They don't want to go outside and shop. And we also have these delivery services like Blue Apron, their stock price rising like crazy from a couple dollars to 10, 20 dollars in stock price. There's a lot more demand for these services as well. So this is what I kind of came up with, being able to smush these two things together into one hack way of doing a meal delivery service. So just hear me out before you think this is some crazy idea. Let me know what you feel about it in the comments down below. But I thought if we could take the simplicity of meal delivery services, HelloFresh, and be able to get those ingredients and save a little bit more while not going to the grocery store, here comes Instacart. We could choose what we want online, add it to our cart, wait for delivery time slot, and it'll show up at our apartment just like a HelloFresh box would. So I think HelloFresh and subscription services are definitely the easiest and most convenient if you're willing to pay for that convenience. But this guide gives you sort of a middle ground between paying the premium for meals delivered right to your doorstep and going full on budget mode, going to the grocery stores, picking out all the deals and trying to save as much money as you can. Here you can get the things delivered to you, but you're also but you also take on the responsibility of preparing the ingredients and doing more of the prep work behind the cooking itself. So I looked on HelloFresh's website, took a little test run. They publish a lot of their recipes online, so if you have an account or if you just search up these recipes, you should be able to get access to the HelloFresh website. Now here, I just chose three recipes that seemed pretty interesting, seemed like it would taste good and be easy to make. Uh, burger, pasta, and chili. So the great thing is that websites such as All Recipes and Food Network have teamed up with Instacart to enable you to automatically add all the ingredients from certain recipes straight into your Instacart cart. So you have two options here. One, if you want to just try to imitate HelloFresh as close as possible using their recipes, most of their ingredients, and you can follow their instructions from the recipe guides online. Or second, if you want to look for more variety, these two recipe websites, All Recipes and Food Network, should have pretty much any recipe you could think of on their site. So anything you want to eat, it should be out there with 
ingredients and instructions listed. So once you have these recipes chosen for the purposes of this video, I looked at an upcoming HelloFresh week and I just typed these dishes into all recipes. So here we have Melty Monterey Jack burgers. I typed up this burger into Food Network, saw, saw this recipe for a Dallas burger by Bobby Flay. So looks good, famous chef, let's try it. I scroll down on the food website recipe and down below after the ingredients, there should be a button. Uh, it says buy ingredients online. Food Network has teamed up with a variety of retailers here. So you can choose what applies to you or what's local to you. But for this video, I'm just using Instafresh. And if you click add to Instacart cart, it'll take you to a page where it'll list all of the ingredients that you need from that recipe. Now, sometimes the website might not be able to find an exact match for your item. Like for this burger recipe, the recipe by Bobby Flay had, had called for a Spanish onion, which Instacart couldn't find at my grocery store for this example. But you could just substitute this with an onion or any regular onion that you want to eat on your burger. So with these, you can just click find a replacement and look for something that you would like. And one thing about this is that this gives you a lot more flexibility than just going off of the predefined recipes on these meal delivery kits. So for example, if I really hate Swiss or I really love cheddar on my burger, but HelloFresh only has a Swiss or Monterey Jack recipe, they're not going to give me cheddar. Here I'm buying the ingredients myself. I can just get cheddar if I want to. It's really easy. And when you're on this page, you'll notice that they're adding things such as salt, oil, spices, and seasonings to the cart. Just as HelloFresh assumes that most people have these basic cooking items in their pantry already, HelloFresh won't give you, you know, a little packet of salt or some olive oil to cook with, they assume you have this as well. So assuming that you do have these things in your pantry, you can go ahead and remove these items from your shopping list now. And this will cut down on a lot of the money that's showing up in your cart. For example, a bottle of olive oil may cost $7. Salt may cost another four. Spices and seasonings may add up to another 10 or 20. And this is all going to cut down on the cost the price you see here is not the final cost of just the ingredients that you're buying. It's going to be mainly the produce and protein needed for these recipes. So I'm going to go in here and check off the canola oil, the ketchup, mustard, and a lot of these spices, they do add another cost to it, but you can go without if you're really trying to go for a budget build here. Paprika, don't need that. I have some vinegar at home, Worcestershire sauce, have that as well. Honey, either have it or you might not really need it. Here's salt, black pepper, mayonnaise I have at home, apple cider, sugar. So a lot of these basics with the spices and things like that I would already have. Now looking at my list after all of that, it looks like all I have to do is get garlic if I don't have that, um, an onion, cabbage, carrot, ground chuck, I would just replace that with ground beef, some type of cheese and dill pickles. Uh, and then also maybe some type of bun or bread for your burger. So this makes the list a lot more manageable. I add these items to the cart. It's coming up. It's coming out to around, you know, $15 ish. So this is about $15 for this burger recipe on HelloFresh. HelloFresh's standard pricing is about $9 per serving for a two person, three meal box. Here for this specific recipe, I'm looking at six or $7 per serving. And I'm also getting a lot more food. So HelloFresh, especially on the meat and produce side, HelloFresh will give you exactly the amount you need. So for example, if you're making two burgers, they'll probably give you around 10 ounces of ground beef. Whereas if you go into the grocery store, you can probably get a pound of meat for three to four dollars on average. So you're also getting more food and as well with the cheese and other condiments. If I have to buy a whole jar of pickles, I'm getting a jar of pickles for two dollars. HelloFresh is giving me two pickles for whatever that price is. Same with cheese. I can get a whole pack of cheese shredded or sliced cheese for a couple dollars. Whereas with the meal box, I'm getting either a small packet of shredded cheese or just two slices of cheese, whatever I need for that meal. And if we repeat this with the other recipes, I have the chili 
and the pasta, you'll see the same things. Pasta dishes, HelloFresh has a ton of awesome pasta dishes, but they'll give you exactly what you need. They'll just give you enough pasta for two servings. But if you buy the pasta yourself, one standard box of pasta, a pound, can easily be four to six servings in its own. The other recipes, maybe you need two tomatoes instead of one, that's not a big deal. So after I've added the items from these three recipes, you see here my Instacart tab is coming out to around $40 compared to the $60 I would have paid on HelloFresh. Now, two things that you do want to keep in mind here as well, Instacart, this is showing your total before taxes and delivery fees and tip. So you should plan on spending about 10 or so dollars to cover those fees, which brings us to about $10 less or 20% savings over what the HelloFresh kit would be. Just to wrap up some of the advantages of using this method you're getting the ease and convenience of having produce delivered to you. You don't have to go out shopping. And you're also getting more food for less price. As I said before, you're probably getting more protein, more produce, and more of those side items that HelloFresh is giving you just one serving of. But you can keep this. And let's say you want to do this next week. Well, I already have a huge bag of shredded cheese. Don't need to buy that again. I already have my pickles, I have my sour cream, I don't have to buy that again, I already have it. So next time you go, maybe you just need to buy some ground beef and tomatoes and onions and that's it. So this helps you save in the long run where you have these items in your pantry already. But on the other hand, some of the disadvantages, some of the advantages for HelloFresh and meal delivery subscription services is that it's convenient, they give you exactly what you need. If you don't wanna to spend too much time deciding what you wanna eat, they'll tell you, they'll send you recipes, they'll give you everything that you need to get started. It's super simple and easy to use. But overall, if you're looking to save some money during these times and you're stuck inside, you don't wanna go out, this could be a good way or something to think about doing as you look to save some money on your everyday expenses. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this, how this has worked out for you. If you have any questions, like the video if you thought this was useful, think this is something that you could possibly implement. And subscribe to the channel for more financial tips, how to save money, and guides for everyday living. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate the support. Peace out.